Liberty Under Attack Radio here on the Freedom Phalanx Radio Network. I'm your host, Shane, broadcasting live from Ancapistan, deep in the heart of Somalia. LUA Radio is your home for the peaceful philosophy of voluntarism. We believe in a world free from coercion, and we uphold the twin axioms of non-aggression and self-ownership absolutely. We also provide you, the listener, with real free market solutions to assist you in creating the freedom you desire in your own life. You can't be free with political rulers. That being said, the second edition of the Freedom Umbrella of Direct Action is out. Never again will I deal with the question of, well, if I don't vote or participate in politics, then what will I do? In the second edition, there are over 100 plus solutions for creating said freedom you desire in your life. And you know what's best about it? There is absolutely no coercion, and you have a, fur- a market selection in your anti- anti-political activities. Uh, you can find that by visiting tinyurl.com forward slash freedom umbrella two. Again, that's tinyurl.com forward slash freedom umbrella two. Now that I've provided uh, that quick update, I'd like to introduce you to my co-hosts, Stan and Danny, and our guest co-host for the evening, Kyle Reardon from the Last Bastille blog. Uh, how are we doing, gentlemen? Well, I'm personally a little tipsy. A little tipsy? Just a little bit. It, se- it seems like when I ask you that question, Danny, it's pretty much just like your your sober level is pretty much the response I get now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all that matters, apparently. Well, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter how I'm doing, it's just about how I'm feeling. Well, I mean, I could tell you about my hate crimes I committed today, but that doesn't seem very interesting, so. Yeah. Well, it could, but I think that would deter from yeah. the broadcast. Maybe in post-show. Yeah. <laughs> so, Stan, what about you, brother? Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Just uh, enjoying the start of the holiday season. All the awesome food. Can't, yeah. Can't really uh, pass that up uh, too much. Oh, no. Oh, no, definitely not. Definitely not. And Kyle, welcome back to the show, brother. Uh, how are you doing? Dude, uh, pretty uh, peachy and swimmingly. Just been busy blogging and other such things, but otherwise doing okay. Okay, good deal, good deal. And uh, give the uh, listeners, I'm not going to have you do an introduction because you're here with us quite a bit, but just uh, let the listeners know uh, where they can find your blog. Uh, the Last Bastille blog is located at thelastbastille.com. Bastille is spelled B A S T I L L E, thelastbastille.com. Okay. All right. Good deal. And Kyle, uh, LUA Radio is covered uh, by some sort of a license, uh, correct? I want you to tell the listeners what that is. Yes, I believe it is a Bipcot no government license. And uh, reproduction is allowed by pretty much anybody except for those uh, government entities and their agents. Indeed. Indeed. Thank you very much. And uh, you can learn more at Bipcot.org. So before we move forward, I'd like to mention our sponsor, Audible. Uh, get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com forward slash liberty under attack. Uh, audiobooks you could get for free include a For a New Liberty, The New Libertarian Manifesto by Murray Rothbard, as well as Human Action by Ludwig von Mises. Uh, so go to audibletrial.com forward slash liberty under attack, sign up and claim your free audiobook uh, today. Again, that link is uh, audibletrial.com forward slash liberty under attack. Uh, there's also uh, there are also other ways to support this broadcast. Uh, we accept a one-time Bitcoin or PayPal donations, uh, or alternatively, you can make a monthly recurring donation uh, using PayPal. And if you do that within the next 14 days, uh, you'll have a chance to win Larkin Rose's book, uh, The Iron Web, and I actually have that here. So anyone who signs up for uh, a recurring monthly donation at any um, any of the price levels will be entered in for a chance to win uh, Larkin Rose's book. Um, so yeah, and if uh, we are going to expand into two nights a week. Uh, starting in January. Uh, we will need your assistance in any of the aforementioned methods, but we're definitely here for, for one day a week, as we always are. So uh, the number to call is, as always, 218-895-3818 or on Skype at FPRN Radio Live. And uh, we'll take calls at any point in the show, so uh, please do feel free uh, to get in contact with us. Uh, additionally, we'll be watching the chat room available at fprnradio.com forward slash listen dash live. So you're more than welcome to post your questions there as well. And uh, lastly, you can always send me an email at any point in the show, and that is Shane at LibertyUnderAttack.com. So, Stan, uh, Danny, Kyle, is there anything you guys would like to uh, discuss before we uh, move forward? Well, um, I think it's in January, but someone will have to reach out to me because I need to. I haven't really looked into it too much, but there is a Winterfest in Michigan in Traverse City uh, for a bunch of libertarians and such to. Uh, it's. 
at a friend's house and we just gather, we hang out for, I think it's a weekend. So if anyone is interested in uh, meeting new libertarians, uh, get a hold of me. Okay, and uh, Kyle or Stan? Uh, nothing on my end. Let's get on with it. All right, well, uh, let's get on with the show then. Uh, so uh, tonight, LUA, LUA Radio is hosting the first FPRN merger. Uh, we are joined by the folks from over at Disassociation Nation, uh, another show here on the Freedom Phalanx Radio Network. Uh, they are live every Friday from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I would definitely recommend uh, going over there and checking them out. Um, that being said, we've got a number of subjects to discuss this evening, a few of those being agorism, uh, a pretty interesting update in my uh, adventures in Illinois higher education, uh, I guess, uh, um, or my experiences there, there was actually a new development, uh, not necessarily a good one, not, not sure if it's a, a bad one either at this point, but we'll see. And uh, we'll discuss uh, some aspects of survivalism with, uh, with Stan, and uh, also a, a, something that Niz brought up, a socialist uh, status propaganda and kids' TV shows. Um, obviously, whatever we delve off into. So, uh, Niz and Paul, uh, welcome to the show. How are you guys doing this evening? Fantastic. Doing fantastic. I've been dumpster diving until I got here, and I want to <laughs> let you know I got a real feast. A real feast. <laughs> well, I'm doing well, but I can't top Paul's dumpster diving excursion. No. For freedom. I dumpster dove for freedom. That's right. So it's cool. <laughs> All right, well, that's, uh, that's definitely good to hear. So um, it's uh, definitely a pleasure to have you on as well. I figured it'd be a, good to have you guys on the show for the first time, at least uh, um, and, for this uh, calendar year. So and, and you were on our show uh, a few weeks back as well. You want to check the archive there, you'll find. Uh, I think that was while change. I was uh, on Oh, yeah, that, that's why you were, uh, you were on the road again. Yeah, that's right. right. You were in transition from, uh, from Kaiser Land to Liberty Land. I'm in Kaiserland, by the way, which is currently Pennsylvania. There we go. There we go. All right. So uh, why don't you guys uh, go ahead and introduce yourselves uh, for the people that um, aren't here from your show or don't listen to the shows on the network. And also uh, let the listeners know um, uh, a little bit about you and what, what brought you to uh, volunteerism or anarcho-capitalism. And either of you can start. Go ahead, Niz. Okay. I'll take it then. Uh, I'm Niz, host of Disassociation Nation. As uh, Shane stated earlier, we air on uh, Friday nights, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern, or if you're here in the central time zone, as I am, that would be 7 to 9. Uh, I'm a libertarian activist. I had been for quite a while. Uh, recent convert to ANCAP. Uh, just got fed up with it, man. Finally saw the light and uh, decided to ditch the obsolete idea of the need for a state. And I am Paul, also known as Paul Gordon Collier, which is my stage name, which is also my legal name. So that really helps me not get confused. Uh, <laughs> I am I am a Nizian uh, because uh, this is uh, is there's Niz and then there's the Nizian. Uh, we we did have two Nizians, but one of the Nizians was abducted. So now we're down to one Nizian. Uh, I came to uh, to Ann Capper Land about uh, maybe about eight months ago. And actually, what brought me here, a very, very Cliff Notes version, uh, a studying, I'm a Christian, and I'm studying uh, Christian history, church history, if you will, throughout the ages. And I kept looking for this elusive uh, uh, rule of law principle of, of liberty, and I never found it. I never found the root of rule of law, which brought me to the conclusion that rule of law is a lie. This is incredibly uh, Cliff Notes version, but essentially, once I found no foundation in rule of law, I, I had to abandon it. Okay, okay, awesome. Very interesting, very interesting. Um, so, guys, we have a history of starting out the show with a Barney Sandler segment uh, for the purposes of culture jamming, per se. Uh, so, if I take it with you guys, I'd like to play this short clip, and we can come back and, uh, and talk about Barney Sandler's and how much uh, we want uh, his mean policy uh, in, the White, in the White House. So, uh, producer, please cue up clip one. We'll be right back after this short clip. <laughs> what do you mean about Cecil the Tiger? Uh, Cecil the Tiger, as I like to say it, Cecil, because I'm from Brooklyn originally, uh, by way of Vermont. Uh, sorry, New Hampshire, New Hampshire, New Hampshire. Forget I said that. Um, uh, Cecil the Lion, I met him once. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, it's a real shame what happened to him. Uh, I really think that we should have his head reattached and have him reanimated. Uh, here's one from Kiwi 
Hunden one, he says, and what do you feel about Hillary? With an exclamation point instead of a question mark. Um, this is actually, uh, I believe that they mean Hillary Clintock, who is my main uh, competitor for the Democratic nomination. Uh, I would like to say that although she is a good friend of mine, very dear friend, that she just, uh, my mouth appears to be freaking out a little bit here, guys, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm definitely having some issues. Um, give me just a moment here, and I will have to get back with you in just a second. So, uh, yeah, hang out here with me, and we'll see what happens. We appear to be having some technical difficulties. Barney will be back as soon as he fixes his mouth issues. Uh, in the meantime, let's get some more questions. Oh, you back? I appear to be back. Uh, I don't know, know what happened there. Uh, maybe I was having uh, some sort of a stroke or seizure, but I'm okay now. Actually, I think I know what it was. I, I smoked a few dank memes on the way here. Okay, haven't we all? Um, Absolutely. So we have one from uh, John Johns again. Uh, he's asking... How do you feel about minions, Barm? Um, minions are really kind of irritating little fuckers, and I wish they'd die. What do you respond to, uh, how do you say, or what would you say in response to the, this, the opinion that they are just wacky Tic Tacs? Um, that seems a little bit unreasonable. Uh, sounds like someone who maybe smoked too many dank memes, uh, what they might say, uh, that's definitely some sort of issue there. We have one from, uh, Go Check Yourself, asking, another question, what is your response to allegations, with a Y, uh, that none of the memes on 4chan are actually not OC and are pulled right from 9gag? Okay, so let me begin. This is a really complex issue. Let me begin by stating that uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the 4chan website. Uh, Moot is a close personal friend of mine. Uh, I've considered him possibly for a running mate if I get the nomination. Uh, I know that he also understands the importance of memes the way that I, Barney Sandler's, do. Uh, however... Uh, the problem with 4chan, or maybe the best part of 4chan, is that it is anonymous, and it makes taking credit for memes quite difficult. Uh, despite this fact, I still believe that the majority of memes originate on 4chan, but uh, Reddit is a much more effective website for me to pander to, so I'm going to continue pandering to it mostly. Uh, we have one from your mom uh, asking, are you Arnold Schwarzenegger? I uh, may have been in a previous life. Uh, Arnold, also a good, close friend of my... Wait, I don't, I don't know him. We have one from Felix Hunter asking, should I join ISIS? Probably so. If one would ask oneself that question, one is probably a good candidate to, uh, to join ISIS and attack America. Uh, great point, great point. Uh, we you. have one from Kiwi Hunden one asking, what is the appropriate amount of memes for the U.S.? Uh, it's really hard to say without me having control of the meme economy. So if you give me the meme economy, then I'll tell you how I'm going to fix it. Uh, it's really, it really boils down to meme supply and meme demand. Honestly. Uh, we have one saying, um, Barney, uh, Burn, why you love uh, Denmark so much? I uh, don't recall ever stating that I love Denmark. Uh, I did make a comment about uh, the shape of the country and its resemblance to the male genitalia, but I was not intended to be taken as, uh, as, as love. 